In this video, we're going to fully expand 3x squared y minus 4xy all to the power of 4. So with the fourth row, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK? Now the fourth row is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. We've got the 3x squared y going into the middle row, or the middle column rather. So I need to write this in for each one, making sure that each one has a bracket around it. And then we've got the minus 4xy for each of these as well, and that's got to have a bracket around it as well. This one is even more important to have a bracket around it because of that minus sign. It's the minus sign that can cause the most issues. So then we're going with 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I could have done that round the other way. I'm going to go with that one. OK, so we've got um, 1 times 1 times minus 4xy to the power of 4. So 4 to the power of 4 is 256. So 256x to the 4y to the 4. Then here we've got 4 times 3 to the 1 times minus 4 to the 3. So 4 times 3 times 4, times minus 4 rather, to the power of 3. So that's minus 768. I'm going to get an x squared and an x cubed. So that's x to the 5. I'm going to have a y and a y cubed, so y to the 4. The next term, I've got 6 times 3 squared times by minus 4 squared. So that's 864. I've got x squared squared, so x to the 4 times x squared, so x to the 6. I've got y squared and a y squared, so y to the 4. Then I have 4 times 3 to the power of 3 uh, times by minus 4, which is min minus sorry, 432. I've got x squared cubed, so x to the 6 times x to the 1, so x to the 7. And I've got uh, y cubed times y, so y to the 4. Then finally, I've got 1 times this to the 4 times that, which is just 1. So 3 to the 4 is 81. x to the 8, y to the 4. OK? And that is the fully expanded form of 3x squared y minus 4xy all to the power of 4.